Nicole the Math Lady, and today we're talking about converting decimals to fractions. Now, this is going to be a fairly quick lesson. Why? Because we have done versions of this before, but it's really what I call the recap, so you can see it all in one place at one time. Here we go. I've given you three decimals. Let me put my zero in the front there. And we know that decimals are really, can also be turned into fractions by looking at the place value of that last number. Let's try the first one. We see we have 0.53. I'm going to put my zero in front. I'm pretty bad about that. I always have to remember. Don't forget to put the zero in front. We have to have a whole number in front and a zero counts. Here we go. So 0 0.53, we know the three is in the hundredths place. So as a fraction, this is going to be 53 over 100. And that cannot be simplified any further, so we're good. What about this number? 0 0.065, we know that that five is in the thousandths place. So this is going to be 65 over 1,000. And both of these numbers can be divided by five at the least, right? So let's divide by five. 65 divided by five is 13. 1,000 divided by five is 200. And since we know that 13 is a prime number, we cannot simplify anymore, so we're good. How about this one? We have a mixed uh, a fraction, a mixed number. It's a whole number and a fraction. Well, what do we do? Well, we keep that 13, right, as that whole number. But now we look at the decimal piece and turn that part into a fraction. 13 and 6 tenths, since the 6 is in the tenths place. But wait a second, that 6 tenths we know can be simplified, right? We can divide by 2. So 13 and 6 tenths is the same thing as saying 13 and 3 fifths. It's really that simple. With decimals to fractions, you look at the last digit, determine what's the place value of the last digit, and turn it into a fraction using that place value. Okay. That's Nicole for today. I will see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.